uh, input from you like i cannot come to know whether you are following or not or whether can you hear me or not this is the problem okay now Ma'am, yeah. Okay, I thought you're on mute again. Yeah. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Thank ma you so much. Um, okay. Now I'll show you uh, how you can implement same stack program using. Uh, C plus plus. Okay. Uh, only difference here is uh, you are using printf scanf. Okay. Instead of that, here you, you are using C in C out. Okay. For that, you are required to include IO stream. Uh, you are required to include as the header file. And declaration of the structure is same in C plus plus also. Same thing I have written here. Okay. Look at no change and wherever put this is that that i am replacing with c out so because you are required to move to the new line here put this if i use automatically put string it will add new line after printing this push uh, uh, this one push but here explicitly you are required to add this slash and that is the only difference i, I have made here okay and then instead of scan if I'm using here scene. Okay. So look at the <coughs> difference here. You have to specify scan if percentage D and percent choice, but here scene just choice. Okay. And then display remains same. Everything remains same. Okay. Instead of printf, uh, I just use C out. Uh, nothing other than that. No much difference in display function. But <coughs> when you are pushing the element into the stack. So that time you are allocating the memory using malloc function. Okay, this malloc function uh, here, instead of malloc function, I have used new operator in C++. How do you use this new operator? New node. Node is what, it's a structure, right? A struct node. So for this, you are allocating the memory using the new operator. But in C++, we, are, we have allocated memory for temp by using malloc function. That is the only difference for C and C++. If you feel C++ is easy for you, you can make use of that. Except that remaining all same. Okay. Look at everything is same. That's the reason I have taken the same program. In that only, I have done the modification. Uh, even for implementing the array and um, stack uh, implementation using array. So everything remains the same. Wherever, like uh, code, I have to change. With small modification, I could able to implement the linked list. Now we'll see similarly how I can implement Q using the same program okay so just i'll share this uh, c++ program with you all you can go to once if you feel this uh, implementation of stack using c++ is easy for you you can <coughs> implement using c++ only i'll not restrict you to use c program alone okay so i'll just close this i'll share it with you okay uh, next uh, i'll show you how you can implement Q operations using linked list. <coughs> okay, and so I'll just, uh, I don't want to show this anyway. You are, you know, you are familiar with the uh, array implementation. So I'll show you. With a small modification, whatever program I have written, stack implementation using linked list, with a small modification, how you can write the program for Q implementation. Okay, so that I'll show you. Okay. <clears throat> 
look at here. Okay. Q linked list. I have not changed here. Okay, good. Good thing I have done. Okay. Uh, here you have to fill again. Uh, even in Q also, one is data field, other one is the pointer field, which is holding the address of the next node. Okay. Now you have to maintain two pointer, front and rear, that you already know very well. But in stack, we are maintaining only one pointer, that is top, because insertion and deletion will happen only at one, at one end called top end. But here, insertion will happen at the rear end and deletion will happen at the front end. So for that, we are having two pointers, front and rear. Initially, both is initialized to value null. Okay, because initially, what is Q? Q is empty. So look at next menu I have written. So same menu, menu is same thing here, but I'm not implementing peak operation for the Q. Then, so display, I'll come to the next because uh, let me show you how you can insert the elements into the stack. Let me discuss first and then I'll come to the display function. Okay. Yeah. So look at here, uh, again, you are allocating memory for uh, some temporary node okay then ma'am it's in display yes. it's not in insert not audible no ma'am this is uh in the queue thing you are showing display ma'am or insertion uh queue i'm showing the program no i thought uh, no both we are comparing for insertion no ma'am Yes, both we are comparing for insertion. Exactly. But it is a display function in Q. Oh, that's what I wanted. Sorry. Yeah, thank you. Um, okay. So look at here. So I need to allocate the memory here uh, for temp variable. Okay, look at here. Here I have allocated the memory. Similarly, here also you have to allocate the memory. So initially, uh, we are checking the condition whether temp equal to null because if the uh, value returned is null so already memory is exhausted exhausted in the system so it will return the null value so that you cannot insert any more node into the queue so with that overflow condition for both queue and stack okay so same thing okay then after that if it is not returning null then Next step is you have to get the data from the user. What data should be inserted into the queue? So for that, look at here. Okay, it's left to you whether you are accepting directly for temp RO data that also can be done. Okay, so, so that I can avoid this statement. Okay, we'll do like that only. Instead of this, what I can do is temp RO data. Straight away, you accept the data for that node. Okay, now data field is filled. Then temp or next equal to null. Okay, because there you are pointing to top. But now here initially, I'm making it to null because this may be the first node what you are inserting. If you don't initialize next field with null, then you'll face the consequence. I'll show you what consequence you'll face. So for that reason, so before making it as a friend or rare or whatever it may be, so first assign this temp or next equal to null. Okay, next, if front equal to null, this indicates that this is the first node you are inserting into the queue. Okay, so in that case, what is uh, front? Is front and rear will, will be the same? Yes? Isn't yes, it? Front equal to null means what? The queue is empty. Okay. The temp you have to assign to the front, then front equal to rear equal to temp. Isn't it? Yes? Are you there? 
Yes, yes ma'am. Ma Am I audible? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, thank you. Or otherwise, if already some data is there in the queue, then in which end you are required to add the elements into the queue? In the rare end. Okay. That means rare RO next equal to term. Rare equal to what? What? Which one you have to make it as strength now? Uh, sorry, uh, which one you have to make it as rare now? Rare equal to temp, isn't it? Okay, so we'll just uh, see with the tracing. Yeah. Look at here. So you are allocating some memory for the temp. The temp is allocated with some memory, say 1001. Okay. So 1001 is allocated for temp. And data you are accepting for the first node is 10. Okay. And what I have done before making it as front, so temp RO next, I have done it as. What? With what I'm initializing? Null. Isn't it? Okay. I have initialized to null. Okay. Now, you are checking the condition whether, okay, front equal to null. If it is equal to null, what is the indication? The queue is empty. You are inserting for the first time. So now, which one will become front? This I'm calling here it as temp. Is this the front only? Yeah. Is this the front of the queue? So I have to make this as the front of the queue. How do I make this as the front of the queue? Okay. Front equal to what? Temp and rare equal to temp. Isn't it? How the path? Is that right? Yes or no? Karthik? Are you there? Are you there? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Please reply. Okay, otherwise they'll not come to know whether you are following or not. Okay, <clears throat> so now with this, uh, this will become uh, front and rear is same. That is, what is the address of front now? It is 1001 and what is the address of the rear? It is equal to 1001. Then I'll just again request memory from the, uh, from the uh, system. Okay, next for the next temp node. Okay, again I assume that I want to insert one more element into the link list. Okay, I'll allocate memory for temp. Now temp, I'm allocating 2001 and data I'm storing here is 20. Okay, I have to make this in this pointer field, which address I require to store now? Is it Q or stack now? Which address I have to store? One zero zero. Yeah, can you please tell me the answer? Persona? Ritwik? So this is one zero zero one. Okay, I'm calling this as front and rear. Is same. Now I'm inserting new node. Okay, so new node is containing value 20. So what is the address stored in next field? In this pointer field? 2001. Huh? 2001. Two zero zero one. Exactly, you are right. Okay, 
so 2001 so which one i have to make it as rare now which one i have to make it as rare now so earlier the first node was rare now rare will be what this so this is stem i have to make this as yeah. rare then rare is equal to what rare equal to stem isn't it yes okay now again when before inserting into uh, this uh, q we are making temp or next we are making it as null okay that is how we have uh, i have written the code here uh, look at the way it is being written so before inserting this stem or before making this stem as rare so we are making the pointer field is initialized to what value null value temp power on x equal to null then now friend is not equal to null it will come to this part else part rare or on x equal to temp isn't it and rare equal to temp you have to make this temp node as rare right so again assume that i want to insert one more element can you please tell me one of you have to reply otherwise i will not continue i'll just show, show the demo on demo and finish up this okay assume for the next temp node the value written here is 30001 and data what i'm storing is 30 okay can you please tell me how it will uh, insert into the queue yes how this get inserted now this is 30 only okay so what value will be stored in rare pointer field yeah rare will hold <laughs> value 30 yeah 3 Zero zero one, isn't it? Okay, three zero zero one gets stored here, and before inserting, I have already made temp or an x equal to null, right? So this is how the push operation will be performed. Instead of push, we are calling it as insert function. So that is how it's going to happen. Okay. Uh, So with this, I think uh, you can able to follow what uh, I'm trying to say. Okay, uh, then so pop operation here instead of pop operation. Okay, I have to make call this as and make a changes here Delete. because instead of push operation, I have to call this as yes insert 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 now. Okay. and here pop operation i just compare stack implementation and queue implementation so here for pop what i have to write delete okay this write delete queue delete queue okay so here if front equal to null it's definitely anti flow condition here also top equal to null it's stack and flow and um, how do you uh, like delete the element from the queue it's a front element from right front. so temp equal to front front equal to front or next temp or next you have to make it as null like how you have done for the top similarly instead of top i'm making it as <laughs> front and top equal to top or next here instead of that front equal to front or next then temp Or on next equal to null. Same thing. Same whatever code I have written for stack. Similarly, you have to write uh, for Q. Okay. So here, what modification I have to do? Here, instead of push, I rename that as 
yeah insert ma'am thank you and for yeah. delete queue is that right is 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 this the one i have used okay and display uh, uh we'll see now how you can write a display function so look at here i uh, will uh, do the comparison display with this stack display uh top equal to null then you can say it is empty stack if top front equal to null this indicates is q contains any element no ma'am thank you empty q q right q empty okay then just return to the main or otherwise <coughs> how you can uh, traverse uh, the q so temp equal to front okay here how we are traversing through the starting pointer starting pointer is nothing but top in this case but here it is front okay yeah so front if it is not equal to temp not equal to null while temp not equal to null you have to keep displaying the contents of the queue how do you do that so top sorry temp equal to front temp arrow data will display the content of the node then you have to move to the next node so how do you move to the next node temp equal to temp arrow next because i want to print this arrow symbol for that i'm as, i'm like uh, checking the condition if temp not equal to null then you have to print this arrow symbol that's it okay so everything remains same but peak operation i have performed on the stack but in queue i have not performed that peak operation okay uh, so i'll just close this um, stack <coughs> implementation let me keep only the queue implementation here so i'll just make this as um, okay I'll tell you. I'll just zoom this. Okay, zoom up there now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I don't know why it is not control. Just F five. Okay. Yeah. So with this, uh, uh, we have completed Q implementation. I'll show you how this program will work. So now one, okay. So first time I'll insert ten, and again twenty. Then uh, third time I'll insert thirty. Fourth time I'll insert forty, and fifth time I'll insert fifty. Okay. So I'll just display the contents of the queue now. This is how the queue data is stored, isn't it? Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now. So when I delete, which should be deleted first? Ten. Yeah, delete. Agbe ko fifteen or ten na? Ten, ma'am. Ten. Yes. Okay. I'll just delete this now. Ten gets deleted. We'll see the contents of the queue now. Is that right? Now front is twenty. Yes, ma'am. Again, I delete. I display. Okay, thirty, forty, fifty. Isn't it? So now I just push one more element. Say ninety. I'll push now. Okay, we'll see the contents of the queue after inserting. So where it should be? Rear end. Is it in the front or rear end? Rear end. Is it inserted correctly? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay, now delete this. So when I when I delete, so how the content should be? What content it has to display? Forty, fifty, ninety. Ninety. Is that right? Okay. Now, so I'll just display the content again. Fifty, ninety, and again I delete. Only fifty is there now in the stack. Sorry, only ninety is there in the uh, queue. Uh, sorry. Again, I'll just delete. Now ninety also deleted. Now, if I try to display the content of the queue, it is showing 
QMT. So with that, I have performed all the operations on the Q what it is included in the menu. Okay. Now I just quit from this program and then so we'll see the tracing part of this that is most interesting. Okay, that will with that I'll wind up the class. <coughs> So again, F7, line by line tracing. Okay, so let me use F4 because I am not interested in debugging. I know now it is working fine. I just wanted you to show how the address is stored in the field, pointer field. Okay, so that I wanted to show the demonstration for that. I'm just uh, storing the uh, some, uh, some uh, data I'm inserting into the queue and then I'll show you how the linked list uh, information is stored in the system memory. Okay, so I'll just uh, uh, press F4 now. So when I press F4, now it's asking you to enter some data. One, okay, so when I press one, okay, I'll just push 10 here. Okay, now uh, which verb I said you have to use in order to see the contents of the node? Which verb? This is the one, it is in debug menu. Okay, go to that, there you select inspect work and here just uh, make use of temp, type this as temp, okay, because at present you are not in the push, op sorry, insert operation. In insert operation we have defined temp and even in the pop operation and even in the display we have defined uh, temp but it is not global that's the reason its scope is only within that function now uh, but uh, front and rear you can access anywhere because that is global variable okay so front is pointing to what is the address of the front now it is 085a and the content store uh, stored in the single node is 10 that is the front we'll see what is rare now this rare is also same, we'll check it now. <coughs> Look at here. So front and rare is same, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. Isn't it? Yes. Oh, you have to answer. Pa. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. Uh, Okay, let me make this a sprint first and then read. And then. So I'll just press F4 again. I'll just insert one more now. So with this front and rear look at so earlier front and rear was same now front remains 085a only whatever you have inserted newly that is that became new uh, like new rear isn't it look at yes, the address now yes is that right yes ma'am Now I'll just insert one more. It, the presently what I got address here is 0602. 0602 should become what now? Will it become rare now? Yes, ma'am. Because so for temporary variable, what address it has been uh, returned? 086A. Okay. So will it become rare now? The answer might be up. Yes, ma'am. New element. Are you able to analyze rare. what's happening here? Just like that I'm not doing, isn't it? So look at here. Rare was, okay. This is front. Front is 
address of front is 085 and rear was 0862 now you are inserting the new node so whatever you are inserting as a new node this should become rear or not yes ma'am yes okay okay now look at here 086a should become rear how the yavaga agutte adu after executing this line of code that is rear equal to temp look at here am i changing correctly yes yes temp that is rear equal to temp got the idea how it is uh, how it should be while tracing all this you need to observe okay now f7 Forty, then F seven. Okay, so whatever you have inserted newly, that became the rear end. Okay, now look at here zero eight seven two. Okay, next again. So I just accept once again the first choice only. Okay, now after. Now currently zero eight seven A is the new node address that is temporary node address that is the value written for the pointer. Now for this I'll accept fifty. Okay, then look at here. Now rear end rear should be what? Now address of the rear will become what now? Now, what is the address of the rear? Head be kubega bega. Zero zero seven two ma. Zero eight seven two. Eight now zero eight seven two. You had to make this as rear, right? So, what is the like uh, address of the rear? New rear, updated uh, after updating. Zero eight seven eight. Yeah. Thank you so much. Okay, now look at. We'll see whether it's changing. Yes. So my code is working perfectly. Okay. Now, so after that, when you are displaying, okay, the beautiful concept of this is, um, so you you are starting from the front. Okay. So next, first, uh, in the first node, I'm storing ten. Okay, and then. The next pointer is pointing to this particular address zero eight six two. When I click on this, look at in this zero eight six two, the data field contains twenty, and the pointer field is pointing to the address zero eight six a. Okay, so in this zero eight six a, we have stored thirty, and the next pointer field is pointing to the next node whose address is zero eight seven two. Okay, and then in this, the data stored is forty, and next field is pointing to the address zero eight seven a. In zero eight seven, with this, we have reached the end of the queue. So next pointer is holding holding which value you now? Null value. Null. Is it is it working fine now? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. This is how you can debug the code. Okay. Next after this, we'll see. So uh, during the run time, I can able to make out so whatever like uh, operations or whatever code I have written is executing perfectly now. I'll just display the contents of the queue. Okay, and I have I have selected the two. No, so what operation it will perform now? Delete operation. Okay, so we thought friend will be changed. So what will uh, what is the friend now? Look at here. So now friend should contain what value? Twenty. Okay, so again here if seven so just display now. So I just go to the uh, 
output window. In this output window, so we have chosen three. Okay, so all two x seven. It will come to display function here. We'll see line by line what's happening. Um, look at here twenty is the first element it has printed f seven. Next, which one it has to print? Thirty, isn't it? F seven. So, how do you go to the display display window or output window? Output screen that is Alt F five. Okay, then F seven. Okay, again press Alt five. You can see fifty is printed. Press Enter, then F seven. Okay, with that, uh, 20, 30, 40, 50 is the queue content. Now I'll just choose. Okay, now I'll press on F4 because I it's guaranteed that uh, display function is working fine, delete queue is working fine, and insert is working fine. So I don't want to trace it line by line. Okay, straight away, I, I like uh, pressed F4 function, function F4. Now, uh, I'll choose delete function. So with that, what is the front now? Front in a big Twenty kairata thirty rata. Thirty. In it beko. Thirty man. Huh? Thirty. Okay, illness no na hegu ilidila. Thirty idea. Is that right? Huh? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay, next, F4. So I'll just go to move to this window because if I am there here and if I press F4, it, it will not work. You have to go to that program window. Okay, again, I'll press, uh, like select the choice as two. Okay, now look at here. Is it deleted? Yeah, yeah. so front is containing the data. 40. Again, I'll press F4 and I'll choose the second option again. I'll just press F4. Okay. Now, I'll just choose the option 3. Okay. Look at here. After deleting, uh, the friend should contain only one element that is 50, isn't it? So now, and rare. We'll see the rare also because front and rare are my setting properly that we'll check it now. All D, inspect verb, rare. Okay. It's front and rare is same. Look at here. Because this is the only one element we have in the queue now. Yes, ma'am. Am I setting the address correctly? How same do address. I know? Yes, ma'am. Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, thank you, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So now, uh, what I'll do is, I have pressed, okay, I'll just uh, uh, choose the menu. In this menu, what I'll do is, I'll insert again, okay. Now, what I'm inserting here is, say, um, 100, okay. Now, look at the beauty of this. So only one element is there. Now, after inserting front containing 50 and the rear is containing 100, right? So this is the second node in the linked list. Now what I'll do is, I'll just display this uh, F4. I'll just display the content of the queue, okay? Then after that, Alt F5 and the press mark, right? Is it printing the content of the queue correctly there was only one data in the queue after that i have included 100 okay that is reflecting here now i'll just keep deleting the element from the queue so for that i'll just press f4 because i don't want to trace line by line okay now two again so look at with this 50 got deleted now what is front and rear 
front and rear is having the same address 0872 and the data in both the field is 100 and both is pointing to null okay so only one node you have now that also i'll delete now let's okay i'll choose the option as two now or look at here after performing this okay some because already you have stored 100 it's storing this 100 no problem here but look at the next pointer here so what it is showing is it showing null now yes ma okay null. so do one thing front and rear so what is front now null and front is null and what about rear we'll check it now so rear is still having some address okay so somewhere you have to free that memory how do you free that memory when you have deleted here <laughs> you are deleting the temp if it is the last node okay that is rare is the last node what you are going to delete so am i clearing the content of the uh, like a pointer i'm clearing temp fine but am i clearing uh, rare so how i can clear the rare also here if it is only one So you are not answering, okay. Let me do one thing. So now I'll just insert one more element. So we'll see the consequence. If it is not set properly, what's going to happen? Okay, 100, 100, 300, Hakana, because 300 I have not accepted any time. Okay, so F7. Okay, look at, look at the beauty of the program. Front. Okay, so what data is stored? Is that, no, no. Is that right? Yeah, yen madve ka git na wo, yen mistake madhe di na vili. What is a mistake we have done? Am I clearing rare? Still rare is pointing to some address. Am I clearing that when there is only one node? Okay, so I'm not setting it properly. So what I need to do here, when there is only one element in the queue, what modification I have to do now? Can you please tell me? Okay, so anyway, temp equal to front, that is fine. Okay. Yeah, one of you have to answer at least. Okay, so we are getting the problem when there is only one node. So how do you check that that is the only one node? If, yeah, what condition I have to check? Hey, drop. Front equal to rate. Now again, what I need to do? Front equal to null. Rare equal to null, isn't it? Because rare pointer I have not cleared. Otherwise, okay, you have to do all these things. Okay. Yes. Will it work now correctly or not? Hail Rapa, work agata ilvaiga. Yes, ma'am. It will work, ma'am. Yeah. 
ಸೊ ಯಾರು ಗೊತ್ತು ಬಿಡಿ ಮೇಡಮ್ ಯಾಕೆ ತಲೆ ತಿಂತೀರ ನಮ್ಮನ್ನು ಅಲ್ವಪ್ಪ ಯಾರೊಬ್ರು ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ನಾವು ಆರಾಮಾಗಿ ಕೂತಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಫಿಲಮ್ ನೋಡ್ತಾ ಇವಾಗ ಟ್ರೇಸ್ ಮಾಡೋಣ ಟ್ರೇಸ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ನಾನು ಏನು ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ಅಂದರೆ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಟ್ರೇಸ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ಲಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಐ ನೋ ವೆರಿ ವೆಲ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಈಸ್ ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಫೈನ್ ಸೊ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಗೋ ಟು ದ ಡಿ ಬಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಫ್ರಂಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟರ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಗ್ಲೋಬಲ್ ವೇರಿಬಲ್ ಸೊ ಪಾಯಿಂಟರ್ ವೇರಿಬಲ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಐ ಜಸ್ ಪ್ರಿಂಟ್ ಇಟ್ ನಾವು ಓಕೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ರೇರ್ ಓಕೆ ಬೋತ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸೆಲೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಬೋತ್ ಓಕೆ ನಾವು ಇನಿಷಿಯಲಿ ಬೋತ್ ಆರ್ ನಲ್ ಪರ್ಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಓಕೆ ನಾವು ಐ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ಎಫ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ವೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಕಮ್ ಟು ಹಿಯರ್ ಐ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಟ್ರೇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಲೈನ್ ಬೈ ಲೈನ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ಎಫ್ ಫೋರ್ ಓಕೆ ನಾವು ವಾಟ್ ಐ ಡೂ ಈಸ್ ಐ ಲಿನ್ ಸರ್ಟ್ ದ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಸೊ ಟೆನ್ ಓಕೆ ಈಗೇನು ಎಫ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಎಫ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ಮಾಡಬಾರ್ದಾಗಿತ್ತು ಓಕೆ ನಾವು ಐ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ಸರ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಸೊ ಐ ಎಸ್ ಎಫ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ದೆನ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಥ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಇನ್ಸರ್ಟ್ ದೆನ್ ಎಫ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಎಫ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಇಸ್ ಆಟ್ ರೈಟ್ ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಫೈನ್ ಕೇ so it's working fine because whatever newly inserted node is becoming rare and front this front of next is pointing to what this this node it is containing 0862 so fine perfect okay then again i'll press f4 okay so 1 yeah 30 so now, now we'll see whether it's working fine or not f4 1 opting then f4 1 50 okay so we have done this done done with that so we'll see whether everything is working fine how front okay front arrow next is pointing to this perfect so in this address 20 is stored it's point to pointing to 08a in 08a it is 30 and it's pointing to 087 it's it's perfect and 0872 in that 40 is there it's pointing to 087e and with that null perfect okay now so oh, only problem we faced in deletion so that to when only one element is there right so now f7 yeah okay so 10 got deleted now again i'll delete f7 okay. again what i need to do i'll just again delete okay f7 and this press f4 okay 30 got deleted still two more elements are there right so i'll delete that also then i'll try to insert because after deleting if i try to insert one more element i couldn't able to do it why because rare was not set to set to null right okay now i'll just perform delete operation again so with that what is get deleted now i'll choose second option only f7 okay now it will go to the delete function look at here so what element you are deleting here is 50 okay that is the last element from the queue you are deleting that is 50 fine yeah so you are checking this condition before setting friend or friend uh, sorry rare equal to rare or next what you are trying to check is is it the only one node in the linked list that, it, that you are checking here since uh, now at this point of time front equal to rare look at here front i am setting to null and rare also set to null we'll see front and rare 
is it both set to null now no earlier was it set to null it was having some valid address but now i am setting front and rear equal to null with that we'll see this program will perf will be working perfectly so we'll see now um i'll insert now okay so um i'll go to this program window i'll just insert a element to the queue i'll just insert say um 900 anyway i have not inserted look at here front and rear in this i have both is containing 900 isn't it both is pointing to the same node that is 900 that is front and rear is same here and it is 900 so is yes, it working no. perfectly yeah work up my colleague are you there in the class yes ma'am yes so you got it now how you can correct yes how you can debug yes ma'am atta aita pa yes ma'am yeah so 920 irbeku correct agidya nodi front is 900 so next field is pointing to 86k and their data stored is 20 Oh, now it's working perfect so with that i okay so i am very confident that my program is not done i have not done any mistake so even after like a, a sequence of insert and delete operation if you keep inserting many more uh, elements into the queue the queue will perform correctly right so queue is working fine so with this i'll just exit from the program on the list so here um, this is how you are required to trace the program this is what i wanted you to learn okay so please make more mistakes when